top of your mat. Roll your shoulders back and down. Take a deep breath in and raise your arms up. Stretch them up high. Ground your feet into your mat. Then exhale, arms down as you hinge at your hips to hang. Breathe and awaken your body. Grab your elbows, sway from side to side. And put a little bend in your knees if you feel super tight in the backs of your legs or your lower back. Today's flow is a great sequence to help silence any internal negativity, be it thoughts or feelings. During this time, empty destructive thoughts and experiences and allow yourself to check in. How do you feel right now and how do you want to feel? Use this flow to cultivate more space within you to allow deeper breaths to flow through you. When we breathe correctly and deeply, we calm our nervous system. So practice a steady calm breath and take it with you throughout your day. On your next inhale, come halfway up, place your hands on your shins, knees or thighs and press in to straighten your spine. Keep your neck relaxed by looking down to the ground and breathe. On an exhale, relax and hang back down. Let your fingertips hang down to the mat. We're going to flow into chair pose first to cultivate power in our legs, to build strength and to help keep us steady in our life. So bring your feet together, put a little bend in your knees. For beginners, start here. For more advanced people, deepen the bend and imagine your thighs are almost parallel to the mat to bring them down further. Planting your feet firmly into the ground, sweep your arms up to bring your torso up. And right now you should feel as though you're almost sitting back in a chair. Pull your shoulder blades back, tailbone down towards the floor and keep your lower back long. Embrace the heat you'll begin to cultivate here and breathe deeply in and out whilst pointing your fingers towards the sky. Chair pose is also known as powerful pose. It strengthens the legs, but also opens the diaphragm and chest, which is key to detoxing mental anguish, often stored in our upper body and shoulders. To come out of that now, straighten the legs and fold forward to hang and breathe. Visualize your mental stress pouring out of your upper body, shoulders and heart. Every exhale cleanses negativity and burdens out of you. Bring your feet together, bend the knees, inhale and come up with your arms and chest, back to chair pose. Focus on the bend in your knees, like you're just about to sit back in a chair and breathe strength into those arms, supporting and strengthening your back muscles. Take an inhale and exhale, straighten the legs, fold forward, relax and breathe. Inhale and come halfway up, press your hands into your shins or thighs. And slide the arms and your torso all the way up to a standing position. Stretch your arms up into the air, interlace them above, and then bring them back down on an exhale. Let's turn that into a nice little flow, into downward facing dog. So we're going to inhale and float the arms up into the air. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen the spine, and exhale, fold forward. Bring your feet together, bend your knees for chair pose. Come up, inhale. Straighten your arms, pull the shoulder blades back in and down. Deepen the bend in your knees if you can to challenge yourself. Take a big inhale and exhale, straighten the knees, fold forward. Find your way into down facing dog and take a deep breath in and out. Step the feet out if it feels good. Straighten your legs, whatever feels right for you. Moving on now, raise your right leg into the air and bring it through and step at the top of your mat. Come into a high lunge. Balancing on your left tippy toes, your arms going straight up in the air and your hips facing forward. Transition now into warrior one by planting and angling the left foot towards the top left corner of your mat. Keep a bend in your right knee. You shouldn't feel any pain in this position. If you do, decrease the bend in your right knee and breathe. Warrior One allows a great detox of our hips. All that emotional stress be gone. Release any tension in your left hip. Let it go because it doesn't serve you well to hold on to it anymore. Embrace any tightness. Visualize your left hip opening and purging any sadness, hurt feelings, emotional pain. Inhale now back up to high lunge position. Balancing on your left tippy toes, bending the right knee. Exhale and float your arms back down to that. Step your right foot back with the left and downward dog and breathe. We're going to strengthen our core now before 
before we go on to warrior one on the other side so bring your bottom down and transition into plank pose using the strength of your arms this is the move that tones your arms it also forces our stomach muscles to switch on and fire up keep your bottom down neck relaxed and breathe great good work okay push back to down facing dog and let's move on raise your left leg into the air bring it through your body between your hands Push your legs into the mat to bring you up to a high lunge. Take an inhale and exhale to warrior one. Right foot planted and angled to the top right corner of your mat. Align both hips to face forward and feel the opening of that right hip. Exhale through any tightness and feel the mental gunk stream out of that joint. Make peace with it and let it go. Inhale, back up to high lunge. Left knee still bending weight on your back, right tippy toes, and exhale, flow your arms back down to the mat, transition to downward dog, and breathe. We're going to do one last pose to stretch and detox before we calm it down to look more peace and light into the areas we've detoxed. Inhale, keeping your feet where they are, walk your hands to meet your feet. You'll end up in a forward bend at the back of your mat. When you get there, you can hang, grab your elbows, sway from side to side, or you can slip your palms underneath your feet to step on your hands. This just deepens the stretch a little in your arms and in the lower back. You can put a bend in your knees and try it first, and then try and straighten your legs, but do what feels comfortable for you. Breathe into this restorative pose, and again, Feel tension and stress flow out of the crown of your head and into the earth. Put a bend in your knees, close your eyes, and see yourself as a rag doll rolling up slowly to stand. Your head will come up last, keep your eyes closed. closer together. Put a little bend in your knees and rest your hands on your thighs. Do what feels good. Hang here and breathe. Neck relaxed. This pose is amazing for alleviating headaches, fatigue and even feelings of depression.
breathe deeply in and out and feel your lower back relax. Feel the tension release. your eyes and we're going to stretch out our neck so let's begin by rolling our shoulders back and down sit up straight and take your right ear down as close to your right shoulder as possible for a deep stretch on the left side of your neck do not raise your right shoulder keep it back and down just focus on taking your right ear as close as possible to feel a satisfying stretch on the left side of your neck that feels good and you want to take it a little deeper, all you need to do is lower your left shoulder. You'll feel a more intense stretch. Breathe through and enjoy. Take a deep inhale and exhale your head back to centre. Taking your left ear down now as close to your left shoulder as possible. To raise your left shoulder, keep it back and down, and bring the left ear as close as you can. It doesn't have to touch. You just want to stretch the right side of your neck in a gentle, loving way. And if you want something a little deeper, drop your right shoulder now. on your exhales here. Make them long and strong. On your next inhale, bring your head back up. You can open your eyes or keep them closed, it's up to you, but roll down now through your spine onto your back to rest your whole body into the ground. Let every single body part melt into your mat. Close your eyes and stay here for as long as you need. Focus on your breath in and out. Nice and even to keep you in a relaxed state. When you meet stressful moments in life, just remember to immediately bring some attention and focus in on your breath. Keep it long and strong to protect your magic and your light. And remember, you are the master of your emotions. You are in charge of you. No one can tell you how to feel. They can try. But you are in charge. You decide whether someone's words are going to hurt you. 